Welcome everyone, and I'm so sorry I don't speak uh, Malayalam. I don't know the language, but thanks uh, Wajid for uh, playing second fiddle for me to understand, like help you understand everything that what he said. So I'll try to speak in English. If you have any problems, please ask me. Uh, I will get back to you. So today, uh, I know it's a hot atmosphere, but you guys have come today. So thanks, a big round of applause for all of the anglers, and of course, tackle tips, Kalikar. Uh, Sandeep Bhai and Safiq Bhai and of course Wajid is there because of them this gathering is possible today. So I'll not waste your time because I know it's very hot and it's uncomfortable. But come on, we anglers, right? We fish in hot weather, yeah. So the joke is high and uh, so today as we discussed, we'll talk about some fishing rods. So I'll, I'll like to ask all of you a question. Everyone is an angler, right? Everyone is a fishing rod. So what is your favorite brand? How many brands of rods we know? That are in India. So, can I ha have some answers? Like, Mitchell, anyway, Mitchell, Majacraft, anything else? Daiwa, Daiwa. Shimano, Shimano. Uh, Uzo. Uzo, okay. Anything? Litma, okay. Any other brands you guys know or like to use? Shakespeare, yes. Ciroc, yeah. Ciroc, yes. Okuma. So, a lot of brands, right? And as anglers, whenever we visit a tackle store or surf online for any product we want to buy, so we are very confused. What should we buy? Just because I work for Majacraft, I am not saying buy Majacraft only. There are a lot of other brands, a lot of good rods. So it is our like informed decision should be there that what rod we should buy and how to select the rod that we want to buy and what kind of fishing we do. So I'll just take maybe 10-15 minutes of your time and discuss this issue. In between, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. So I will just ask two questions. One, what different kinds of fishing rods you guys know of? And what is the different types of rods that are used according to different styles of fishing? Anyone? What are the two, two, two basic categories of rods in the world? Only two types are there in terms of manufacturing. Can I have an answer for that rod? Like that question. Sorry? Spinning and bed casting. Spinning and bed casting, right. So there are two different types. One is spinning and one is overhead, right? Now, in these two categories, we have different, different sub-styles. Somebody said jigging rod, it's a popping rod, it's a light fishing rod, it's a car fishing rod, it's a surf fishing rod. That depends on your use. What do you want to target? What kind of fish you want to catch? So based on that, you select your rod, right? Now, first we, uh, like for example, uh, let us think that we know what kind of fish we want to catch. Salmon fishing is very popular in Kerala, right? So all of you guys have fished some point in your life, like Malabar snakehead, one side freshwater, and one side salmon fishing. So we'll discuss about these two. So when we talk about salmon fishing, most of the times we fish from the shore. And anglers who have a boat can go with a boat and fish. So when we go salmon fishing, what kind of length do we decide to use? Any suggestion, guys? Nine feet, ten feet, eleven feet, twelve feet, thirteen, fourteen also possible, right? Minimum nine feet. More distance you want. So that is a very easy to understand theory that longer rods will cast farther and shorter rods will cast short distances, right? But that same kind of 14 feet rod you can't use from a boat when you're fishing for Malabar snakehead, right? Because sometimes rivers are small, sometimes there are vegetation on top, so you can't cast. Your lure will get stuck in the uh, trees, overhanging trees. So you use 6 feet, 7 feet, maximum 7 and a half, 8 feet rods from the boat. So this is a point to consider when you choose a fishing rod. So what is my use? So what is the length? That is the most important thing. Then. What kind of reel I have? Do I have a spinning reel or do I have a bait casting reel? If you have a spinning reel, then there is no chance you can buy a bait casting rod for that same species. Right? You have to use a bait casting rod with a bait casting reel. If you have a spinning reel, you use a spinning rod with a spinning reel. Right? Second point, depends on the fish. Your casting weight is important. What kind of weight that rod can cast? Some rods are rated 5 to 30 grams. That's we call ultra light rod. Some rods are up to 60 grams. Like 
it's medium heavy medium action like medium power kind of rod some rods we have casting weight 100 gram 120 grams it's called heavy power rod okay some rods have 150 200 grams casting weight like popping rod extra heavy rods right so different this is called rod power because it's heavy heavy is power and the second thing what people get confused a lot is the difference between rod action and rod power so sometimes i got a lot of calls from all over india sir do you have a medium heavy action rod so is that statement correct or it is wrong this question is right question or wrong question can you guys answer this is it medium heavy power or medium heavy action action i don't think so medium heavy light this is all power action is fast extra fast regular medium or slow action so that is a basic point lot of our anglers get confused what is action and what is power so i will try to explain this to you because this is an important thing i think you guys should know and some of you of course know and some of you if you want to know so basically action is how the rod bends under pressure how the rod bends and power is how much weight you need to bend the rod so for example if a rod is rated for 120 grams casting weight you will need more weight to make that bend in the rod the similar kind of bend 5 to 30 grams you will need probably one fourth of the weight the rod will bend the same thing so this is power not action now under that weight how the rod bends just the tip bends or just the tip and the top section or through the medium uh, heavy action, uh, power rod it will bend from the middle side if it's a slow action rod like slow power you said slow action it's a slow power rod it will from the butt section from the butt to the tip it will bend now what is advantage what is disadvantage so slow action rods will give you the farthest longest casting distance but the biggest problem is they will not give you a good hook set because the full rod will bend if you just try to set the hook that will bend from here so we will lose a lot of fish you cannot set the hook properly so you need a fast action rod so bas basically lot of anglers today use fast action rods i think you all maximum of you guys either use a regular fast or a fast action rod today whether you understand in the specification or not that is basically most of us buy because it is convenient the casting distance is also good and we can set the hook properly and we can tire out the fish because fast action rod only the tip section bends when you need to pull the fish there's a lot of power in the backbone of the rod and you can really control the fish from going into the rocks and all that so effectively you can land the fish with a fast action rod in our fishing situation kerala maharashtra all the west coast east coast where rocky structures are there and you need to have a strong rod in fish, in salt water to control the fish again these are the two aspects i said power and action then the third point is how the rod is manufactured either it is a composite rod that means fiberglass and carbon mixed or it's a totally carbon rod 24 ton 30 ton 40 ton 46 ton now what is the tonnage of the rod if you see it's a 24 ton rod so the carbon sheets are pressed with 24 ton it's a 40 ton rod means it will be more light it will be more sensitive but it will be more prone to breakage if you buy a 40 ton rod you cannot abuse it but a fiberglass rod will take more abuse because that rod is made with fiberglass and it has more flexibility but the problem is fiberglass rods will be very heavy so if you are an angler who likes to fish 2-3 hours constantly casting you will tire out your hand and you will lose interest oh it's not working i don't catch so nowadays fishing is very different right fishing is difficult now because lots of fish are less lots of anglers we are anglers are more in number than fish so you need to cast for a long time to catch a good fish so then you need a light rod for light rod what you need to buy is a carbon rod 24 ton 30 ton is okay if you are a pro angler you can choose a 40 ton or 46 ton carbon rod then be very light but you cannot abuse that rod you have to cast perfectly you cannot like pull the fish you cannot lift the fish out of the water with a high tonnage rod so these are the things you decide again now the rod guides i'll just talk you one minute for the rod guides 
you just select a good guide which comes with the rod suppose for example fuji alps all these companies are the greatest companies which make the rod guides if the rod is made with fuji guides fuji reel seat that rod will last for longer time it will not catch rust then there are different guides in different segments also the normal guides o guides then the k guides then elconite guides sic guides so lots of factors and more importantly the price all of us cannot afford to buy a very expensive rod so sometimes we need to think about the price also what kind of price a rod is being offered to us and that is also a point to consider when a fishing rod is selected for you guys so this is the basic topic of discussion that i had with you and uh, i would like to inform you that uh, major craft is the first company officially to be uh, offering all of us anglers a 6 month limited warranty on the major craft indra rods 7 feet 8 feet and 9 feet so major craft if you buy from tackle tips you will have a seal on that rod uh, if you buy a major craft indra rod there is a warranty card inside the rod if you guys want you can check it come and check that rod so all the details warranty policies are mentioned if you will find a serial number here the similar serial number will be found in the first section of the rod here yes you can guys see this is 2622 again this is 2622 here so if by chance this rod breaks within 6 months by default for manufacturing defect you can come with the broken tip with that same serial number with the same tag and here you have to have his stamp and signature of the store with the invoice copy and you can claim a free replacement of the tip so we trust you guys we know you are good anglers and you know how to take care of your rods and major craft is a company which makes brilliant products good quality products so that's why we are delighted to offer you this warranty policy so you can claim this warranty within 6 months for each rod one time only and that is based on your good judgment so thank you all thanks a lot for your time and listening to me and we'll have a lucky draw today for all the participants who have joined so wajid please continue from here what i have said yeah. so thank you thanks arinaba for your wonderful speech so ade on no off agidu bundu start